afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Texas Rangers and the New York Yankees. The Yankees are riding an eight game win streak. They'll try to run it to nine next. Jay Happ gets the ball for the Yankees in this one. Dan any thoughts. You know Matt he wasn't all that bad in his last one in a day and age where we don't see a lot of complete games six full innings in his last one and if they can score him a few runs he has a chance to win this one here today. So Elvis Andres the next to bat and we are ready for some daytime Leading baseball. The afternoon protector, the shortstop, Elvis Andrews. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. Well, this Yankee ball club entering play this afternoon here. They have certainly had it going lately. Winners of eight in a row. I'm super excited, Matty, to watch this team play today because it's rare. You don't see many teams rattle off eight wins in a row like they have. It's all working for them right now, and I'm super excited to watch them take the field today. And just a Chamber of Commerce afternoon for baseball. 82 degrees here at first pitch. Three and oh now. So that's two pitches in a row above the belt. As a hitter, that's what you're looking for, especially when it's a day game and the ball is carried. That just wasn't a good enough pitch to hit. And that one misses as well. So it's a poor start here this afternoon as it's a four pitch walk to get things going. Batting second, the right fielder, Hunter. Up Cole. next for the Rangers, Hunter Cole. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Has a look, now the pitch. Cole, a 27 year old, he was taken in the 26th round during the 2014 draft. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career nope. he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. So let's take a peek at the umpire and crew in this one. Behind the plate is Matthew Ross. Well, d -Row, you better be ready to swing. With Matt Ross behind the dish, big zone. Yeah, you know coming into this one, you better pull the trigger. If something's close, Matt Ross is going to punch your ticket. A ball and two strikes now. He broke out the slide step there, Danny. Yeah, he's clearly thinking about the steal right here. Didn't happen, but the cat-mouse game continues on. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. From the stretch. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough goal of it at the plate with him. And watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. And here's the former prize Dodger prospect, Willie Calhoun. Strike one to start the at bat. Andres stands at first with one out. Fly ball out to right field. Judge is on the move. He gets there, and that's the second out. Batting four. The left fielder, Joey Gallo. So the runner at first here with two gone in the inning, and that'll bring up Joey Gallo. From the belt, kicks and deals. Now the 0-1. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. The 1-1 home. Is a fastball that misses. Oh. 
Good swing there, but this is foul off to the right side. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Rangers leave one, and now the Yankees will see what they can do. No score. Corey Kluber will be on the bump for game two of the series. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, we're getting a look at a real competitive pitcher here. Career ERA in the low threes, and that's not an easy thing to do in the day and age of small ballparks and guys swinging for the fences. Rock solid pitcher, does a lot of things well, and it'll be fun to watch him work in this one here today. Standing in, Brett Gardner. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Here it comes. Fellas, this Rangers ball club, as they begin play, they come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they've dropped five of their last eight ball games. Yeah, guys, after the first four games on this road trip, they find themselves two and two, kind of par for the course. But they got to find a way to play a little bit better today, kind of turn the tide and get it working in a positive direction. Two and oh now. And the pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. And that's out number one. Batting second. The right field. Aaron Judge. So striding in, Aaron Judge having a very nice year, currently second in the American League in batting average entering play. This season really shouldn't come as a surprise to many. We all know what kind of skill this guy produces when he has a bat in his hands. First pitch coming. Here it is. Ball in. And two. Now you could tell right there that curveball had some serious depth to it. That's what separates the good ones from the bad ones. That nasty spin rate, get that downward action. You even get a star player like this swinging at something in the dirt. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Boy, he's having a hard time just putting the ball in play right now. He took the hat trick with three strikeouts yesterday, and here's another one today. Looks to me like he just needs to simplify his approach and focus on making some contact. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. And he's got that batting lineup near the 300 mark entering play. Kluber gets the sign. Here it is on 0 and 1. Yeah. Two out, nobody on. Yankee shortstop behind in the count, one and two. That misses, and we're even at two and two. Regardless of the result right here, to be down 0-2 and work it back to an even count, got to feel like it's a win for the offense. A swing and a miss at a sinker. The strikeout retires the side. Inning is over. So the Yanks go 1-2-3. We are still scoreless. Now batting, Danny Santana, as it'll be five, six, and seven due up to kick off the second inning. First offering on its way. 
And he fouls this one off. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And he takes strike two. Santana stands just shy of six feet at 5'11 and bats from both sides of the plate. He's a veteran of seven years at the major league level. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Well, there's the great equalizer, the changeup, El Cambio. Listen, if you can keep that pitch in your back pocket and pull it out when you need it, like he did right there, usually hitters, they don't stand a chance. Into the box, Ronald Guzman. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. 22 home runs on the ledger for him so far this year. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Ball one. He obviously wanted that call on the corner, but if he continues to put the ball right there, he's going to get that call and he's going to keep pitching as well as he is. In there, one and two now. Not likely to see a fourth fastball in this situation. I'm going to eliminate the fastball if I'm at the plate right here. The one two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. Judge looks up into the second deck and gone. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Number 23 for him thus far. As the Rangers strike first, it's one to nothing. Normally this matchup is the last thing you want to see left on left but he kept his front shoulder square stayed in that at bat and absolutely demolished that baseball. Ready now Rupnit Odor and he's just hoping for something to go his way in this one and as you can see it's not been the case of late. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. No balls and a strike to count. Bases are empty. One man out. That's strike two on a well placed changeup around the knees. Fouled off. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was laid on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. Here's Todd Frazier now. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for bowl one. In past meetings with Jay Happ, he's totaled four hits in 18 at bats. He's taken him deep once. That evens it up one and one. And the pitch. Ground ball right into the shift. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. But the Rangers are in the run column first on the strength of this solo home run. We'll go to the bottom of the second. It's now 1-0 Texas. Bottom of the inning now, and digging in is the big-time power threat, Gary Sanchez. 
Sanchez. First pitch coming. Here it is. He'll start him with a sinker here, but that sinks a bit too much that time. It's 1-0. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Like to see him be looking to the opposite field with this next swing. Pitcher's trying to work you away. Now the 2 0. Finds the zone, strike one. Good pitch there, had him a little out in front. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. Don't go too far. The dangerous Giancarlo Stanton gets his shot next. Now the three and two pitch. He swung on and missed strike three. Striding in, Giancarlo Stanton. Giancarlo. Okay. Outfield shaded a bit to left center the first pitch. The 1 0 home. Well, of all the guys in this lineup, he's definitely the guy I'd be cautious with, especially with a one-run lead. No surprise that he's treading lightly right here. Here it comes, the 3-0. There's ball four. Man, when you don't get a call on a pitch that good, you have to wonder if maybe it's personal. You can't blame him for being angry, but he's got to find a way to move on and focus on the next batter. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela as he begins this one as the fourth leading hitter in the American League. There's no way you could have forecasted this kind of season from this guy. Not to take anything away from him, but I don't think many people in baseball considered him to be one of the league's best hitters for average coming into this year. Here comes the first pitch. Now a half swing here as he wanted to pull it back but he does so too late It's strike one. From the stretch. One ball one strike. Kluber has found success in his career at limiting base hits. He usually turns in outings where his hits per nine numbers are really respectable and obviously that goes a long way as a starting pitcher. Matty V there's a couple of things that really hurt you when you're a starting pitcher walks and giving up many base hits per nine innings. This guy keeps the ball in play doesn't give up a lot of hits doesn't walk very many batters and when you do that it's a good recipe for success and it's worked for him so far in his career. The one two lifted into center field. Santana is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Striding forward, Mike Talkman, as he's been in a pretty good stretch over the last 10 or so ball games. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ball one, no strike. A runner on first with two away. Ball 
Here's a ball well struck for the right field corner. And that'll get down out there near the wall. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. When it left his bat, I thought it might score foul, but it hugged the line and found its way into the corner. Thought it might be a little bit closer play at second, but he cruised in there with relative ease. And that sends D.J. LeMahieu into the box. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. Second and third, two away. And he misses again, 2-0. and oh. If you're going to have any chance against a good pitcher, you've got to find yourself in some great counts. And he certainly worked himself into a nice 2-0 count right here. The 2-0. and oh. Now a swing and a fly ball. But no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. Here's the 2-1. Strike two. Good curveball on the inside black. That's a tough curveball right there to stay into as a lefty hitter. That ball looks like it's almost going to hit you, and it breaks over the inside half of the plate. He set the 2-2. Two -two. Popped him up. Guzman is under it. He's got it, and that'll get him out of the jam. Yanks strand a pair. They're on the short end of a one-to-nothing score. Welcome back to the Bronx, where these fans have witnessed a lot of good pitching from their Yankees this season. Coming into the day, they rank first in the league in both ERA and strikeouts, a combination that has opposing lineups searching for answers. One member of the staff told me, it's a special group of guys. I've never been on a pitching staff that's so dominant top to bottom, and I've been on some pretty good ones. Now, one of the hitters on the team told me, I'm relieved I get to stand behind them and play defense instead of staring them down in the box. That can't be fun. Matt, back to you. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Here's the pitch. Jose Trevino is at the plate as he looks at ball one. Hot shot to third and handled for the first out. The bat, number one. Shortstop, Elvis Andrews. So digging in now, Elvis Andrews. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Here it comes now to Andrus. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And he'll try to get him to chase the fastball there, but he lays off one and two. Well, this is an approach we've seen him use effectively lately. Set up the inside and then get him out with pitches away. The count now at two and two. Fouled away. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be laid on that fastball. The two two one more time. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Gardner's after it. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Now that is the right fielder, Hunter Cole. Standing in, Hunter Cole looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Here's the pitch. Wind up and the 0 1. No. Hey, there's not a lot you can do with a slider breaking down and in unless you catch it way out front. I like the idea of taking it and making the pitcher bring you something a little more hittable. One and two now as that one's fouled off.
Trying to send him packing for the second time. Hold the string on him. Strike three swinging. And that ends the inning. So they go down without a whimper here. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. It's the Rangers one and the Yankees nothing. And that'll bring up Tyler Wayne as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Tyler Wayne. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And the Yankees are in business here. It's a leadoff double. Now that's the way you answer. They're down one nothing already, but he laces the double and puts himself in the scoring position. That'll get the dugout fired up and excited to punch back. Here's Brett Gardner now. Let's still watch a sinker here that misses. It's ball one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. One and one. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. A ball and two strikes. The stand alive putting together a really good at bat here. The one two is taken for ball two. No one out with a runner at second. And a breaking ball runs in and gets him. And I doubt there was any intent behind that. Yeah, there are a couple of things you don't want to do as a visiting pitcher. Never give the home crowd a reason to get involved early. And don't put guys on base to ignite a big inning. Well, mission accomplished on both fronts. We'll see how he responds. So stepping in, Aaron Judge. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Here comes the first pitch. Now a spin and a throw back to second, and he just manages to get his hand in. A one count. Here's the pitch. And he powers to cut fastball by him that time, and he's in charge now, nothing in two. Here's the 0 and 2. One ball, two straight. First and second here with nobody out. In the dirt here. So now two men in scoring position. Man, it was already a dicey situation with two on and no out. And then things get worse with the wild pitch there. So instead of a chance to turn two, They've got runners on second and third, and a base hit will drive in a pair. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Full count, three and two. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0-2 to work the count back to 3-2, and two. and he's seen a lot of pitches too. strike three called as he gets a little help there one away 
Oh, man, he's been absolutely getting overmatched at the plate the last couple of games. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. So clearly this pitching staff, they figured out how to attack this guy. We'll see if he can make any adjustments. So stepping in, Torres, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Hit high and deep out to left. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. And the tying run is in to score from third. Striding in once again, Gary Sanchez. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Two out here and a runner at second. Swung on and missed. One and one. One and one. Here it is. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats out of play. It's one and two. Here comes the one and two. Here's a weekly hit fly ball off to the left side. And that's going to fall for a base hit. The runner from second crosses the plate. It's now a two to one ball game. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, D. Where you get that base hit to give your team the lead, you have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%, not trying to do too much, able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. Giancarlo Stanton now. As the first pitch years have been high, it's ball one. He'll check in here at 256. 27 homers and 66 driven in. A ball and a strike. Two out with the man at first. Grounded to third. Frazier is there. Little pitch and catch chance for Odor at second base, and that'll do it. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. Three innings complete. It's the Yankees two, and the Rangers one. Now in the box, Willie Calhoun. He'll lead things off here in this one run contest. Willie Calhoun. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Nope. Ball one. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning That's right here. Right. Capitalize on the momentum his batters have. Ball two now. Nope. Right. He pulls this one into right. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. So it's a base knock to lead off their half of the fourth. Hey, there's a bullet off the wall. The outfielder does a really good job of getting that one in quickly. But I think they had a play there at second base. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on there, Dan. I, I, I got to believe you're busting it out of the box thinking two until somebody tells you no. I know it would have been a close play, but I think you got to err on the aggressive side right there. Here's Joey Gallo now. As a good changeup will get him to commit too early, and it's strike one. And it's fouled away. Down and away, it's a ball and two strikes. 
a lot of pitches away here which is pretty much what you're forced to do with lefty batters here at Yankee Stadium. It doesn't take much to hook one out of here to right field with that short porch out there. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. Oh, Hit back up the middle. Scooped up. Torres at the bag. On to first, and they turn the double play. Boy, that's about as easy as it comes. A chopper, two hopper, turns into a tailor made 4 6 3 double play. So base is empty now after the double play. And standing in is the veteran outfielder, Danny Santana. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. I know it's cliche and it's tired at times, but a well-located fastball down at the knees is still the best pitch in the game. Pitch popped up. LeMayhew has got it, and the side is retired. Rangers go down quickly there. Our score remains two to one. Welcome back to the Bronx as we check in with Heidi. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already. And he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And set to go is the third baseman, Gio Urshela. Third baseman, number 29. First pitch of the at bat. Lays off 1 0. Now here's the pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Cole moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. The batter, Noah Fielder. Top man. Now at the plate, Mike Talkman, one for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Here it comes. There's a good fastball on the outside corner as you'll take a look at strike one. Fourth inning of a two to one ball game. Now a check swing but he holds up in time ball one. Hey this guy's nasty on the mound and to check swing and not chase that one puts himself right back in the count. A little behind on that swing and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. To two balls and two strikes now. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off speed pitches. Love we'll to see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward. Two two pitches fouled away. Two runs, three hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. And oh, a big rip at the curveball, but he didn't get it, and he becomes the second casualty of the inning. I think that curveball is a big reason why he's able to turn things around in this start after a rough beginning. It's got some good bite to it, so that tells me he's doing a nice job of snapping it off out front, really finishing that pitch like you're supposed to. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. 
comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0 and 2 now. And he popped him up. Odor onto the grass. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. One, two, three, go the Bombers. They still lead it two to one. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, I talked with the Rangers manager during the inning break about the team's offensive production to this point. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. A lot of their outs have come from weak contact and strikeouts as a result of chasing pitches outside the strike zone. He said it's going to be extremely important for them going forward to be more selective with their swings and force the opposition to throw more strikes. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Moving off to the range. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Ronald Guzman. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Judges under it, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now batting the second baseman, Rudnev O'Doul. So the base is empty here with one away. And that'll bring up the second baseman, Rugnut Odor. First pitch on its way. Ball, Ball one, no strike. Fifth inning, two to one our score. Ball, two and oh now. Two and one. Gutsy pitch right there. 2 0 changeup for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. Skied into very shallow right. Judges under it. And he makes the catch for the second out. Now batting. Third baseman. Todd. Frazier. Stepping into the box, Todd Frazier. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Here comes the first pitch. Ball. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Hey. And here's his fastball for a called strike one, and he's hitting an even 90 on the gun. There's a shin-high slider laid off for a ball. One run, two hits, and no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. Frazier in front, three balls and a strike. Into his motion, here comes the three and one. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Halfway to the plate, this hitter's wondering why he even pulled the trigger on that. His hands feel like he's being stung by wasps right now. Again, he sends it out of play. Still three balls and two strikes. The eighth pitch of the at-bat. On the eighth pitch of the at-bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Rangers. They still trail it here, two to one. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And that'll bring in the second baseman, Tyler Wade. Tyler. First pitch coming, here it is. To right field and deep. Look at this thing go. 
Boom goes the dynamite. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Third home run for him on the year, and it gives the Yankees a 3-1 to one lead. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in a game. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. and one count and the pitch I have to count all into and this is swung on and missed as Gardner's a strikeout victim one away every pitcher gives up home runs some now more than batter. others right but field. the best ones forget Aaron. about them as soon as the next guy digs oh. into the batter's box he showed me a lot right there by going after the next hitter and striking him out on only three pitches. Here's big Aaron Judge. As he'll swing and hit this one hard, but foul off to the left and out of play. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Cut fastball above the letters, a ball and a strike. One out, nobody on. Hard hit ball to second. Odor has it. And there's out number two. Now that not shortstop. Waver. Torres. Digging in once again, Torres. It was an RBI sack fly for him last time through. Kluber sets his sights. Here's the first pitch. 1 0. The 1 0 home. At the ball. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. That being very aggressive right now. Too tight with that one. Three and oh. I'd be shocked if this wasn't a four pitch walk right here. He doesn't want to mess around and leave something over the heart of the plate and get beat in this situation. Hit hard on the ground a second and that's through for a hit. There's a danger of falling behind 3-0. You don't know which now guys in the lineup outside the middle of the order are going to pull the trigger in a spot like that. that he was one of them. 3-0 swing in the bat. Aggressive hack. Nice base hit. At the plate, Gary Sanchez. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. The 1-0. A swing and a miss, strike one. Well, that's a jam shot right there. That's as good as it gets, in my opinion. Woo! Up and in. A runner on first with two away. And a sinker dips two too low there. there. Into the dirt, in fact. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a Pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. The 2-1 home. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Hey, guys, this, he's not known for being a singles hitter right here, but that's now his back. second that's knock of the game. game. And I'm sure he'll take him, but the guys on the other side of the scorecard might be thinking we really avoided a worse fate. Yeah. 
And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. Hit hard to the right. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Now a cut fastball, but that doesn't threaten the zone. It's even at one. And now the Ranger bullpen swings into action. A lefty and a right-hander are throwing down there. Now the one and one pitch. That's a ball. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this. But he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. The 2 1. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Yankees do get one on the solo homer. We're through five here this afternoon. It's now three to one Yanks. Stepping up to the plate, Jose Trevino. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. First pitch on its way. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Trevino is just shy of six feet at 5'11", a right-handed batter and thrower. He was taken in the sixth round during the 2014 draft. Hey, this middle round selection is still developing, but he's doing it at the big league level, and he has a lot of time to get his tool set ironed out. Reined in. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. The batter, number one, shortstop, Elvis Andrew. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Elvis Andrews, he flew out in his last at-bat. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Nope, at the ball. The 1 0 home. Oh, that's We're in the sixth inning here in a 3 to 1 ball game. Two ah. balls and a strike to the Rangers' leadoff hitter. Gets a good piece of it there, but this is foul off toward the third base coaching box. Weak grounder down the line at third, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Here's one hit softly down the line in left. Foul. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. You can certainly tell at bats like this one frustrate the heck out of a pitcher but you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. So he's just a third of an inning away from putting up another zero as we take a look at the ball clubs with the lowest team ERAs and you can see that this staff currently leads the AL in that category. At the plate, Hunter Cole. No hits to this point. First offering on its way. Sent on the ground out to second. He's got it. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit, and the side is retired. Rangers set down in order. They still trail it here three to one. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Gio Urshela. Number 29.
first pitch of the at bat. High and deep down the left field line. And no one will get this one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Now the Rangers get a reliever up and throwing in the bullpen as a right hander's begun to warm up out there. Here it comes on nothing and two. Hit on the ground out to short. There is Andrus. Throw just does beat him to the bag as that was pretty close. Now back, left fielder. Man. Digging in now, Mike Talkman. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Now a swing and a bouncing ball for Elvis at short. Scooped up. Throw gets him. Two down. Now back. DJ LeMayhew. Ready for another chance. DJ LeMayhew. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. First delivery to him on the way. Sinker runs outside to start the at bat. 1 0. This one's too far inside, ball two. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. Swing and a liner. And Andrus will not be able to get there. It's a base hit. Dan, how hard is it to massage your way through such a deep lineup? I mean, even the eight, nine hole hitters are solid big league players. You know, Mark, these days you're not seeing a lot of defensive specialists in the infield or outfield. If you're in that starting lineup these days, there's a pretty good job you can swing the bat. In now, Tyler Wade. As he'll take a look at ball one. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. And that ends the inning. Yanks leave one as the lead remains three to one. Seventh inning ready to roll. And into bat next, former Dodger minor leaguer Willie Calhoun. Calhoun. Here comes the first pitch. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. A one pitch on its way. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. One ball and two strikes to count. I'll try to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. He got ahead with two good fastballs and then tried to drop the changeup to see if he'd be out in front. Did a great job of laying off that pitch right there. Interested to see where he goes now. Ready with another 2-2. Swing and a liner toward right center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. Now this rolls all the way to the wall. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. 
That's what you call a clutch piece of hitting. Down two runs, he puts himself in scoring position and brings the tying run to the plate. We'll see what they do with the base open here. This one's getting interesting. Here comes the Yankee manager now up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And that will bring an end to the appearance by Jay Happ. So as he departs, he'll remain responsible for the man left to board, but he cannot lose this one. Zach Britton comes on now, and he'll take over with nobody out in inning number seven. So that brings up the big bat of Joey Gallo. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Another one fouled off and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. And this is swung on and missed and boy they took care of a key man there one away. Well this pitching staff has done a pretty good job oh, right there. The That's the fourth time he struck game. out and we're only yeah. in the second game of this yeah. series. Standing in now Danny Santana as with one away he can't make contact on the first pitch it's strike one he's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Oh one pitch on its way and it's one and one. One out and a runner on second base. Count is one and two now. Has a look now the pitch and he strikes him out as well so make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen it's never a good look to strike out looking but it's way worse when you do it with a guy in scoring position those are the times you really want to see a guy battle and at least put the ball in play. At the plate now Ronald Guzman as the first pitch sinker misses to him it's ball one. He's working on a one for two game so far. And he falls behind now 2 and 0. Oh. Watching him on the mound right now I think he's just having trouble throwing strikes to this guy up only two runs. I don't think he's working around him. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing three to one our score. Down low and the plot thickens here three and oh. When you're playing close games like this base runners mean everything so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Here's the three oh. Hey. It'll be interesting if he comes in the zone aggressively again here with the base open he doesn't have to. going to make him throw him something here three and two now hoping to send him packing pitch on its way and a sinker there swung on and missed for out number three 
One left for Texas. And it remains a 3-1 ball game. Cody Allen gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 31, Cody Allen. Next for New York, Brett Gardner. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Hold high in the air out to right field. Cole is over to his left as he snags this one for the first out of the inning. Up next for the Yankees, the right fielder, Aaron. In now, Aaron Judge. He was a ground out victim last time up. Here comes the first pitch. Allen has thrown a little over 50 innings and sports an ERA right around the major league average at just over four. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Strike called. Tough to do much with that one. Allen, the former Angel, he became a member of this team after signing as a free agent earlier this season. Yeah, I know he expected to get a longer term deal, but these are the facts right now. He is on a one year deal, and he is going to have to produce if he is going to get that multi year he's been looking for come off season. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Oh. Two and two. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. The two two. Is swung on and missed strike three. This has not been a weekend to remember for him. He's just been completely oh, lost at the game. plate, flailing all no over the place. Stop. Now that's his Wait, sixth bro. strikeout of the series. Oh, They've man. really got him figured out. Stepping in now, Torres. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's one for two in this one. And that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's one and one. A little bit outside. Two and one. Allen's ready. Here's the pitch. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike and now he's got the count in his favor three and one. Three and two. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner and if you miss and you walk him so what that's better than him putting one in the seats. Bases are empty here with two men out. And this one misses inside a ball he walked in, and they've got themselves a two out base runner. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving one up where he can really hurt you. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and the next to bat, the Dominican born catcher, Gary Sanchez. From the stretch. A great job pounding his own strike one. When you got a great hitter in the box, you gotta get ahead. Count leverage is a must. Come set and the 0 1. 
And he fouls this one off. And another foul ball. Another 0 and 2 coming. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses 1 and 2. Two out with the man at first. And now here's a ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. Cole will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. One left for the Yankees, and it's still 3 to 1. Chad Green has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 57, Chad Green. New inning set to get underway, and that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, Rugnet Odor. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Up next to the Rangers, the third baseman, Todd Frazier. So next to the plate for Texas, Todd Frazier 0 for 2 for him to this point. He's set. Here it comes. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 and 1. In there at the knees, 0 and 2 now. This offense has been underachieving all day, putting way too much pressure on their own pitching staff. Someone has to have a quality A-B and get this line going. And they'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Fouled off. Eighth inning of this low scoring affair. Three to one our score. Fastball, Fastball well outside. Two balls, two strikes. Fouled away. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two. But when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days. But it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. To the plate now, Jose Trevino, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. And this is just off the outside corner, ball two. Two outs here, and the focus needs to stay sharp. You don't want that lineup turning over in an inning if you can help it. Now the 2-0 home. Aye. And 
And it's two balls and two strikes now. Hey, he's got excellent stuff working right now. Somebody has to make an adjustment. You're seeing a lot of late swings. No one's getting the front foot down. No one's getting a barrel to the baseball. The 2-2. Two -two. We got a full count. Three, two. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. 3-2 pitch. Count remains full. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. One, two, three, go the Rangers. Score holds, it's three to one. Luis Garcia will come on in relief now as he'll make his 35th appearance of the season. Luis Garcia. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And next will be the imposing power bat, Giancarlo Stanton. First delivery to him on the way. Some movement now in that Texas bullpen as a left-hander starts to get cranking down there. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. One one home. We got two balls. Garcia has tossed over 30 innings so far this season, and sports an ERA right around the major league average at just over four. Set and the two and one pitch. Tough spot in the game right here. You have a very close call that doesn't go your way. This is when you have to really regroup as a pitcher and go out there and try to make quality pitches. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Well, I have to give credit to him on the mound for not letting that previous pitch get to him. He wanted it, but he didn't get the call. But I love how he didn't let it affect him, and he comes right back with another good pitch and gets the punch out. So now to the plate, Gio Urshela. As he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. And that misses one and one. Bases are empty, one man out. And a pitch down that swung on and sent to second base. On to first, and there were two down. Now batting. No left fielder. Right. Top man. Stepping in, Mike Talkman. He's working on a one for three thus far. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And he takes a cold strike, 0 and 1. And the pitch.
Two out, nobody on. And a swing and a miss there on a late-breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. So the Yanks go 1-2-3, but they hang on to a 3-1 lead. Aroldis Chapman takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Number 54. Aroldis. All set to start the ninth in this one, and it's back to the top of the lineup now for Elvis Andrews. Looking for base runners here as they're down two playing on the road. Not an easy thing to do, trying to score runs or bunch hits together off of a closer. Heading out towards shallow right. Judge is there. One quick out to start oh, inning number nine. The right fielder, Hunter Cole. So coming to the plate, Hunter Cole. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Swing and a miss, but he's right on here. One strike. I love the fact that this batter continues to be aggressive, but after striking out twice already, maybe he's got to take a step back, see the ball a little bit deeper, and be willing to work deep into the count. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. One out, nobody on. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Uh, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Jay Happ would be in line for the victory should the score hold. He's ready. Here's the 1-0. You have to find a way in this situation to look in that on-deck circle and find a way to get your best hitter to the plate with a chance to tie it. Now the 2-0 is offered at and missed for the first strike. Now the 2-1 pitch. And this ball swung on and hit to center field. And this should do it. And he will make the catch with ease. And the Yankees will add one more to their winning streak as this ball game is over. Man, they're making it look awful easy out there. That's nine wins in a row. That's right, nine wins in a row. And by the way they're playing, I see no reason why this streak is going to end anytime soon. They're just playing great baseball. Three to one, the final score this afternoon. New York led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Jay Happ gets to double digits with his 10th win of the year. Aroldis Chapman earns the save out of the bullpen his 25th of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show.